Hello everyone, Taki Jiru here. So today we are going to discuss about malloc call and topic of this discussion is uh, how malloc call works under the hood and this is a part 2, I have already explained uh, part 1 so you can just uh, check that out okay so uh, level of this discussion is a beginner uh, i am assuming you have gcc and gdb installed in your machine if you have not let, just check the description of this video you will find the links and uh, these are the subtopics i'm going to cover uh, malloc call functionality in glibc and free call functionality in glibc so we'll uh, check the these calls how internally it works i have already explained some theoretical part of this so it's time to get uh, practical into this so we'll jump into the code let's uh, let me just uh, quickly uh, let me just quickly uh, explain what is the code is doing so all other code is just my analysis till this 130 line and this is just the code it's doing some malloc uh, character pointer and it's allocating bytes you can say 21 29 here okay and uh, for okay so let it be 29 or Okay, for timing we let it hit 29. I will uh, change it during the call, like during the debugging. So this is a just doing free call, and as I have already explained, <coughs> this uh, PTR is passed here. So uh, generally malloc <coughs> writes before uh, this uh, actual pointer. So there is a malloc struct header and free generally. So malloc generally. Uh, writes in this size here and this memory is generally returned to the user and uh, uh, and free generally reads from this memory and just frees up the pointer right so that's what we know and so this is uh, the path uh, i have already explained like this is how it follows so lipsy malloc in malloc and sys malloc in library so we'll go through this how it is working okay So, okay, let me just compile it for 32 uh, bit with symbols. Okay, so we have it ready and we'll just jump into. Okay. So before that, I want to uh, load the source code as I have already explained how to load it. So I'll just quickly load it. So I'm using malloc uh, 2.23 here. So I just loaded it. Okay, and now I will just list the code. So these are all the comments. I'm only worried about this. So I'll just add a breakpoint at 136 line. Okay so uh, apart from this as we generally know what is the source code so most of the functions are generally defined like this underscore int okay so you can see underscore int malloc and int free and all these functions are generally written here so one thing you can just do is just to go through this code and just analyze what are the function calls are there and you can just put a breakpoint at that uh, uh, that is the one thing and otherwise it's very lengthy just to go add a breakpoint like i can add a breakpoint at malloc right so malloc is defined inside a, this uh, source code and we have a library loaded into this of 2.23 so gdb will search into this source code for the malloc i can just do like this also so if i just run it okay So it's added at a breakpoint here and uh, if i just do si here step in and we can see it's going inside this okay so we can see it's going one by one so this is very lengthy process you have to wait when it's going to uh, find the mellow okay if i just continue so it found the mellow okay so it here we can see it found the mellow call at this function okay if i just list this okay so it's still searching through that file so we can see it's still going through 
line numbers in this file so these are just nothing but uh, like dl code so dl is dynamic uh, library so because when the program is loaded so we have we, we are passing the malloc right so before going into the library code so it have it has to find out the address where the symbols are loaded right so it's finding through dynamic library and it's searching through the dl functions to search for a specific symbol in the library this is a very lengthy process i would suggest just to add it like we are into calloc file also there are a lot of uh, functions are there so the best way to do is just to add a breakpoint at these functions so because while anyway we are going to debug through this code right so it's better to add just a function name right so i'll just add a okay so <clears throat> let me add a mlc you can add it like this or you can just uh, so this kind of warning you will get uh, uh, this malloc is not defined make big point for future shared library you can say it yes and just uh, run it again okay so we are inside the function if i just list it you can see i'm inside the function the line number is 3314 so let me open the line number here 3314 we can see in mellow we are we are inside the function so we are added a breakpoint here and we are inside the function in this okay as you can see it matches with the right like 3314 is this comment and we are here this comment right so <clears throat> let's uh, check the main thing which we are uh, came here for so this is what uh, 3391 so this is what allocating bytes here as we can see so we'll discuss about this chunk to memory and all 3391 okay so <clears throat> because we are in, inside that file so it will search for that line number in the same file if we are not in the file so it will search for the whichever the file uh, we're in so if i just continue we are at that line and if i just list it okay Okay, I think it's not going here. So, uh, okay, so what we can do here, uh, if this mellow call is uh, going right, so how many bytes is generally allocating? We are allocating 29 bytes, okay. And <clears throat> we know it's doing this mellow, right. So actually this is the code uh int mellow so this is int free and this is int mellow so actually this is the code so we have to add it here like three eight two seven we can say actually maybe three eight two seven So if I just add a big point here and if I just uh, run it, okay, we are at this function. So this is what I was talking about. So I have, I am at this function. So it will allocate the uh, bytes for this. And if I just do, I don't need to do SI, so I'll just do next. And P will not be null. So if we are at this line, so how many bytes it will allocate? So it will allocate these many bytes. Okay, so if I just do enter here and if I just print these bytes here, 29 bytes. So we can say uh, how many bytes is called allocated? 29. So this is what is returned to the user, right? So 29 bytes. So user will see, okay, I got 29 bytes. But actually, these are not the bytes. As we know, already the graph. Let me pop up a code of. Uh, okay, so let me just. Uh, So 
okay so let me just quickly go over the code here okay so this is the code so as i already explained you like this is the int malloc and sysmalloc is returning the bytes so as we have seen here sysmalloc is returning here and we are getting just 29 bytes here right in this code right so this is just how malloc works the main thing about uh, the main uh, logic behind is like uh, how many bytes it's writing here so these bytes will be returned to the user so if i just list main here so we know uh, how many bytes so i so i will just analyze this pointer okay so as we have discussed in the code here so it will write this size into uh, this previous to this memory which is returned to the user right so <clears throat> if i just analyze this uh, i will just add a breakpoint at 138 line break 138 okay so I'm at that line. I'll just uh, continue here. Okay, I have to run it. Oh, okay. So it's returning from there. Let me just delete the breakpoints because we know 29 bytes will be allocated. Okay, let me add 138 line. Okay, let me just run it. Now we are at this breakpoint, right? So uh, let me just print. Uh, uh, there is one command to print it, uh, like a little bit in beautiful way, we can say. So print set print ready. Okay, and we can just analyze PPTR. So PTR's uh, address is double zero A okay we can say it's a four bytes so we are using we are compiled it as a 32 bit so it's a four byte address but what the cache here is so if i just uh, x y if i just analyze the we can say eight blocks before this or four blocks before this eight blocks okay so we can say here 29 is written so what is the catch here is it's not actually a 29 in bytes right so it's a hexadecimal so if i just do x by p by d of this 29 so we can say it's actually sorry it's actually 41 bytes so it's actually 41 bytes so that's what uh, uh, I have written in this my analysis 29 bytes means 41 bytes will be allocated. So how it's allocating it is basically uh, So let me analyze uh, let me quickly give you analysis of this. So how it is doing so uh, P hyphen size you can see here. So this is a chunk header. So I'll explain how it is working uh, so minimum chunk as we have discussed earlier previous plus size so this is a malloc chunk header okay so this is a malloc chunk header so previous plus size these are the like in case of uh, in case of 32 bit it will be 4 bytes so in case of 40 uh, 64 bits it will be 8 bytes so 4 plus 4 this is the 8 bytes okay these are the 8 bytes okay so minimum chunk size will be So minimum chunk size will be divided this is a minimum chunk size divided by previous size so what is minimum chunk size so i have written this i will let you know this is 16 bytes as we know here four pointers in 32 bit architecture so four pointers why because uh, we need uh, why pointers are rotated because we need this memory right so we need this to uh, store how many bytes because we need to return this memory to the user that is why we need this minimum chunk size so this four we need so four 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 it's a 16 byte right so that's what we need here and okay so uh my local land is this one so this is one uh so what is it doing basically 
let me quickly read out for you so what is this memory to chunk so memory to chunk is nothing but because as uh, i already explained this ft this address will be returned to the user so before this there are eight bytes in 32 bit architecture right so what memory to chunk will do so it will map that this memory to chunk so what it will do it will do minus two of word size so two of word size means how many what is the size of the pointer right so it will be eight bytes and it will go before this memory it will go before this memory and it will reach to this location of this when while doing it free so that's why it needs memory to chunk and chunk to memory it needs when it is uh, giving this mellow call so in, we have seen this in this uh, sys mellow so generally before this it generally does the uh, chunk to memory as you can see here this is a chunk to memory so it's doing basically returning this pointer only uh, this pointer ft pointer this is returning from this address so it needs to convert this chunk to memory so it will just offset from this memory with 8 bytes which is 2 of word size and it's returning there right okay so mellow line we already know like 2 into 4 bytes so this is what the note I, I analyzed so what you can see here minimum memory allocated is chunk size size of struct malloc size right okay so minimum uh, memory allocated is chunk size okay so minimum memory allocated is uh, what is the size of chunk is a 16 bytes right okay so uh, minimum bytes which are freed are in format of malloc line that we that we will see now in t function memory allocation will be malloc line but only after memory bytes crosses threshold of greater than word size four point so that's what we did we, i explained in previous video also so if i increase cross the word size so it is eight bytes word size is four here and 4 12 and if i cross this uh, word size 8 plus 4 12 plus even if one if i cross it will increase to two into word size it will add eight bytes into this right so now we can see for example memory bytes is 13 now it's more than 12 one into malloc aligned okay so it will add one into malloc line eight bytes okay so it will allocate more malloc line size bytes so it will allocate eight bytes more okay so in case of 21 also it is more than 20 20 means it's not malloc line plus word size memory has to be malloc line right so the word size plus malloc line this is what they want right so as you can see it is getting increased here so it will allocate more than it but so this is the procedure so if it's crossing the malloc aligned bytes plus word size then it will allocate more eight bytes okay so this is how uh, the flow of this and in the free what it's doing actually it's uh, taking this pointer okay so whichever the pointer we pass there so it is it is uh, doing plus two into word size okay previous size size are skipped eight bytes brave in use by will be subtracted okay so how many uh, size it's written there it's actually written 17 but it is freeing up 8 why it, why is that because it is uh, uh, removing the two of uh, word size pointers which are there in the top of uh, pointers we saw here size and we, we can count it as a pointer size and previous size these are uh, 8 bytes are removed from there so what is left 16 minus uh, 17 minus 8 so left and one this previous in use flag is also added into this size why it's added because that uh, particular chunk is in use so they set it using prev in use which is part of uh, this uh, size here it's a, it's a one bit they use in this uh, size variable so they generally remove that also in every you can see 25 also they are removing only 16 bytes so how they are doing we can analyze through this so what they are doing they are removing 8 bytes first so it will be 17 and this and then just removing this preview use so it will be 16 so every time they will be removing 16 bytes but user allocated 13 bytes you can see here but it actually freeing up 16 why is that because this memory right whichever the memory is uh, later freeing up or is allocated it has to be malloc aligned uh, malloc aligned means 2 of word size okay so as we can say 
two of word size is means like it should be in pair of those right so first minimum memory will be two of word size eight bytes okay and everything you can say it will be mellow line two of word size eight bytes will be okay eight, eight bytes are added here eight bytes are added here so everywhere you see it's two of word size mellow will be aligned okay it doesn't matter how many bytes allocate it matters only if you cross this threshold which is uh, greater than word size so if you cross this like in 12 u13 you cross the threshold of word size uh, during the previous bytes it has to allocate more than eight bytes okay this is how uh, this is working Okay, so we will uh, analyze this in free also. Let me quickly add a great point in free also. So as I already explained, this is the previous size before the pointer what is written in the memory. So this is the size size variable which we are talking about. It's a 41. Okay, so let's just uh, first let's uh, delete the breakpoints. So this is underscore int underscore free. So I'll just add a okay. So I added a breakpoint here. If I just run it again, so we added this free function. Okay, this is a three eight three six line. We can say three eight three six line free call. Okay, so what we are uh, really uh, care about this in this function is there is one uh, call this is free call right? this is actually doing the free call so we'll add a breakpoint at 3921 you don't need to pass this uh, 3921 okay we'll just continue so we are at this call so this is the actual function which is doing uh, uh, the free here how many bytes so as we know uh, free is coming as a user pointer is being passed and we have to convert into chunk so what chunk to memory will do we already know chunk to memory will just let me just quickly grab it yeah chunk to memory will just uh, uh, add two into word size so it will just reach to this uh, location okay so it will just add two uh, word size here Okay. Let me just enter into this function. So this is the function which is actually doing M set, which I have already explained. Memory generally not getting uh, is not getting freed from the heap, so it's just doing M set. These are the bytes it's getting freed. So right, let's just print the bytes. Okay, so we have this uh, structure here and uh, chunk to memory why they are doing is let me explain here. So if I just print this uh, variable here, let us quickly get out of this function. Okay, so this is chunk pointer as we can see here. So this is the size actually. So I, why it's coming because I enabled the print pretty. So this is the actual the structure memory chunk structure which I was talking about here. This is the structure uh, pointer. Okay, so here we can see size is forty one. So size is written forty one. That's why in the main uh, the PTR which we allocated right. So that is also. I don't think we can access like this. Yeah, we can access double column. So 
okay so what i am trying to say is it's a dollar 12 so if we just uh, go x y 4 x w if we just go four bytes from before this we can say it's a 29 and 29 we already know it's 41 so generally when the in the free so it's passed as a 41 but if you analyze this code free okay let me just uh, quickly teach the location in free okay. okay so actually if you see here it's doing one set of these white white side 32 okay so why it's doing 32 let me grab a depth of same diagram so as i have already explained this is actually 41 but but this is being passed here 32 so it will minus those two size of pointers okay which is the size and prep size structure this will remove this because we don't need this right and we don't need to free this we will use it some for some other variable uh, for some other values but we actually allocated this much memory so we are freeing up we are removing this uh, from memory allocation and plus the prep in use byte okay this is prep in use okay as this is a this is a flag is added there so it's removing this so that's why it's it's removing only 32 bytes this is the free function is doing so free function is they see you can see the code so we are converting chunk to memory first why we chunk to memory because we want to deallocate memory from that address only chunk to memory will what it will do it will just reach to this location ft where ft is pointing so let me just quickly show you one more thing uh, so it's 32 as we already know okay let me just get out of this function and if i just uh, again print this uh, header again if i print that malloc chunk pointer so you can see ft is here ft so if i just check the size of ft uh, address of ft okay so this is uh, you can see 804b008 this is the address of this location in this pointer okay this location where ft is located right if i again print the address of ptr which is in main as you can see both are the same address 804b008 so this is the address which is returned to the user space so this ft address so this location is being returned to the user space below this everything is user space okay so if you see below this uh, chunk header is 4 4 4 4 16 bytes so that's why we were talking about 16 bytes here that's why if you see the minimum is 16 bytes plus this in use flag you will not ever find this uh, before below 16 bytes that's why minimum 16 bytes we need minimum chunk size we will call it okay so this is the address returned to the user ptr so it was returned in mellow but now we are passing it as a in the free call so free call is doing this is a chunk address so free call is generally converting this chunk to memory so it is skipping this two uh, thing and it is reaching to this ft so i'll uh, quickly show one thing here again okay so if i print the address of ptr sorry p so you can say what is p we are inside this function which is getting freed so it is already been converted to chunk to memory here we are inside this function so chunk to memory is converted and size is actually decreased with size underscore z which is nothing but the two size and previous size address uh, the size of both the variables long variables so it is a four byte each so eight bytes are skipped from here okay so actually it was 41 but when it reached to here so it became 32 and we have address chunk to memory converted so we can see this p is also the same address which is bar, which is also in main right ptr so this is how uh, basically the work work, work of uh, malloc and free is uh, doing so one thing you need to remember is this four five six points so how it is working it should be malloc aligned 
okay and plus word size why i'm written here because it only get affected if you change if you increase this it will be fine till if you don't reach this threshold word size but if you mellow aligned will be eight bytes right so you can see here eight bytes but if you reach the threshold so if you are allocating 12 bytes 8 plus 12 which is also fine but if you increase the 13 here we are allocating 13 which will be more than malloc aligned bytes plus word size which is half of malloc aligned right so if you reach that then it will start allocating more memory which is 2 into word size 8 bytes that's the same is doing in 21 also it will be 2 of malloc aligned plus you reach the threshold and it is allocating more bytes so this is very simple i encourage you to try it on yourself like on your system get some hands on this it's very easy to understand this thing okay uh, so i think that's all from my side i think i have covered a little bit about this and so that's all from my side guys thank you and please share like this video and subscribe to my channel thank you